three-time national silver medalist, won the title though back in 2017 in France and has never finished higher than 18th at a World Championships. Chance to improve. And Greece, the soundtrack. This should get the crowd going. speed going into that triple lutz but not the elevation stepped out of the landing no room for the double toe now big combination coming up here triple flip and just the triple flip i'm afraid about makes the Salco. Did she keep the free leg off? Probably yes. Wow. <laughs> Got to back that costume change up, though, with this next jump sequence. Double axle, triple toe. Huge combination. And triple loop with a bonus double on the end. And a triple loops, half loop, double salco. Near the end of the program, so an uplift of 10% for that, of course. And a double axle right at the end. Great finish. Crowd loved it. Certainly had us nodding our heads in the commentary box. And interestingly, an intentional wardrobe malfunction. But she <laughs> packed it up very nicely in the second half of that routine. Won the crowd over. Will certainly have won the judges over. But needs a big score to take over in the lead. 114.62. And with some of the errors in there, that may be a problem. Yeah, another one where the choreography 
and the music provided a really welcome opportunity for a reset. A tale of two halves once again in that programme. No falls, but some mistakes on the two opening jumping passes, both intended to be combinations. And in fact, with standalone jumps with step outs, but the second half of the programme was a real winner. She's lovely to watch. I think that style really suits her. Yeah, definitely enjoyed that one. And certainly enjoyed the second part of that. But a very shaky start. Yeah, so this is the opening triple that she's fine on the rotation, but just a bit late with the free leg, so stepping out. And then here we have a triple salco. Bit of a lean, but no problems holding on to that. <laughs> and then the wardrobe change. I'm sure there are some judges, the more classical judges, that uh, don't particularly enjoy that, but you can't argue with the impetus it put into the program. And yes. four and a half minutes is a long time. You need a bit of light and shade in there, and personally, I think it really worked for her, and it certainly worked with this Italian crowd that, as you say, Simon, are being really warm and supportive tonight. Well, gimmick or not, you've got to back it up, and she did just that. This double axle right at the end of the program. It's very rare you see a program end on a jumping element. I'll put a smile on everyone's face there. So yeah, not perfect, but I think she will receive the base values for the jump, so I've not got her down for any under rotations. Well, so, certainly not any downgrades. Yeah, sorry, Catherine. Season's best at 107.35, so she certainly needs to go comfortably past that for a shot at the lead. She'll probably be uh, beyond her. Maya Bell of the USA with that at the moment, 170.40. Give the DJ some bonus marks for finding uh, Born to Hand Jive. <laughs> That's quality. He's done very well. It's turning into a Grease Mega Mix. But it will, will it be the lead or will it be the ominous tap on the shoulder? we go season's best she's done it wow second best mark of the free program at 113.44 so not quite enough to take over with the combined score but a very good second place 173.23 for Laureen Le Cavalier and a very nice finish to that routine Garner's a very good score